Hello guys, welcome to my channel and also welcome to my new video. In this video, I'll teach you how to host your Minecraft Bedrock server using Google Cloud Platform. It's basically the same thing as Java, so it's easier if you learn how to do it through Java. So first, go to Compute Engine, VM Instance. Then you have to create a new instance, click Current. Now, name any instance you want. So, mine's gonna be Minecraft. So, my so choose any server that is nearest to you. This is Australia. Choose a series E2. Choose a memory you want for your server. I suggest between four or eight, but mine's gonna be two because I'm gonna do it myself. It's a test only. So, change. You can, you can change your operating system between the Linux or Windows Server. I'll teach you how to do it through Windows Server. So first thing first, we have to, I'll teach you how to do it through Linux. Choose any size, boot this guy, any, and then click select. And now manage, manage, meant networking main tag uh, network tag will be your IP tag in the firewall. So mine's going to be called bedrock, remember that, click here, if your IP address is in here then you can have to create your IP address and name your, I, your IP address can be, mine's already existed so don't need to worry about that, so I'll click this one, click done, then click create. Now you have to wait for the server to uh, create. I'll make you guys see the other side once this is ready. Now click SSH. This will prompt you to a console, your SSH console on the VMware. Now, when you prompt to this page, do uh, sudo slash s cd slash home. Then, when you're here, do mkdr. Server. This will create a directory called server. So click enter. LS to list all the directories in the following folder home. Now do cd, um, do cd server. This will lead you to the server. Before we do anything, we have to install the following two apt programs. So apt get install slash y wget. So you can get um, the the files from the website. W means website. Get means you know, get to get it. Now do the same thing, but um, unzip. This will create a unzip program because we need that for the server. Now go to the website. Link in the description. Then just click agree. Right click it. Click copy link. Go to back to the server, then do wget this link. Copy that. There it will be it will downloaded the zip. Now let's check if the zip is inside. There it is inside. Now go to unzip and then copy and paste the the folder name, the file name. Go unzip that. We start unzipping the the, the zip file and now let's check there you go now the bedrock server is here now you got this this time you don't need to agree with it you will uh, it's already you already agreed with it either way so now go to google cloud navigation menu go down and go to vc network firewall now click create firewall rule Name your file rule, might be Minecraft server. Um, it, you can sleep anything here. Target tag 0.0.0.0 slash 0. .0, .0, .0, .0, .0, .0 Wait, that, yeah, that's wrong. Never mind. This is the source IP. The target tag will be your network tag, so mine is bedrock. So, and this time, instead of clicking TCP, you have to click UDP. And click the, the default listening port for Minecraft Bedrock. 
That's the default listening port, I can tell. Because the default, because in the ad server, it will be locked, it will be default to 1932, it's right here. So, click create. This will create the fire rule. And now we wait for the fire rule to create. And we can be able to join the server. There you go, it's now ready. Yeah. Now go back to the console and do dot dash bedrock underscore server. Copy that. It'll start up the server now. It says starting server. There you go. It's now loading up. Now server started. Now go back. Now go back to VMware. Compute engine VMware. VM instance. Copy in the external IP. Go back to the microserver and copy and paste the IP address. You can name your server and click play. It's really addict for me, so don't need to worry. This this is the server I created. It's the same thing. Now I just click it, click join. This will connect you to the external IP, the external server that we created. There you go. Now you load it to the server. In this one, you have the console, and this is the bedrock. So you have, so you have both sides now. Just wait for it to start up. And I'll teach you more about the, the server. So basically, it's the same thing as Java. It's just bedrock edition. You can give yourself op also, just in case. Now loading into the server. Now you're in the server. Up. So I'm just gonna do this for video focuses. There you go. And now you're in the server. Now if you want to keep yourself off do oh update XD. there now you can you, you gave yourself up right here it shows now you can basically do anything you want if you want to do the 24 7 hosting it's the same process as screening so let's do that right now first thing first you have to stop it stop the server now I go to apt slash get install slash y screen. This will install screen. Now I'll go screen um, screen slash s to save it. MCS you can name any and then do dot dash bedrock underscore server. And this will create a new terminal and you can leave your micro server host 24 7. There you go, now server started. And then now you can join the server anytime you want. So let's join. It's currently offline but it's dedicating, this is connecting to the server, this one. But since it's already started, so you can check it thing now. Click join and then it will, lock, it will load you to the world. Just keep in mind, this on you can only join the the server if you're on PC or mobile. I'll teach you how to do it as a if you have a console and you have this game. I'll teach you how to connect to any server. So it's basically easy to process. So I'll teach you that in the next video. For now, I'll just teach you how to host your server. Now, once your server is up and running, you can do anything you want. You can break locks, but you can actually close this. Um, program, but first we have to do Control A D. There you go. Now you can close this, and then you can play with micro wherever you want. If you're wondering how, if you want to open your server while it's 24 7, well, it's simple. Go back to SSH, this will prompt you to this um, page. Just wait for it to load. Now 
once you're in this page, you do sudo slash s and do cd slash home slash minecraft slash server. This will prompt you. Oh, wait, you have to do cd slash home cd slash serve um, server and then now you do screen dash r this will prompt you to the uh, server that you started beforehand so you can uh, access it and yeah that's all i can teach you you can invite your friends using the server ip if you really want to teach uh, learn how to get a dedicated server you can but it's easy to do so it's a server ip i'll teach you and then i'll teach you I already teach you that in the the Java server guide one, so that's the IP address that you created, and that's all. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.